death approaches. 9th of November. Is the court case on? Is it not? We don't know because the CPS won't answer my fucking questions. Um, after the have seen the one with the hung up on me. Actually, two with the hung up on me. Yeah, two. Fuck you, CPS. Um, but if you've seen the last one with the hung up on me, when it says they're not allowed to talk to me now. So now they're not answering my emails either. So apparently they're not allowed to answer me either. So if I've asked them. There was a question, because PC Lester, one of the kidnappers, is off in her halls, right? So she that was booked in advance, right? So she couldn't be there in the ninth. So I'm not going back through all the paperwork to check all the fucking dates and see when I got what and when, because the fucking CPS withheld the fucking letters from me in the fucking first place, right? So I don't know if it's fucking on or not. Not to mention, you have not yet released full fucking disclosure, CPS, because tampered evidence... Evidence that which has been tampered with is not fucking evidence, is it? It's false fucking evidence. Anyway, there was a thing I mentioned about two days ago, I think, or three days ago on Twitter. I was like, Hillsborough, huh? That's gone all quiet. What's happened there then? And it's just popped up in the paper. This is yesterday's paper. Uh, Hillsborough can help Grenfell. Um, and they're obviously referring to the fact that the police are all lying fucking bastards. Because um, they've introduced a new law. Or they're going to introduce a new law. Um, the, the, well, they've got some bishop involved for some reason. The bishop supported the proposed Hillsborough law, which aims to make it an offence for public officials to mislead or refuse to cooperate with inquiries. See, I'm afraid... Now, I'm not knocking the people of Hillsborough in any way. They have rocked the fucking foundations of the establishment to the fucking core. Well done, guys. And you deserve any fucking compensation and apologies and fucking anything else that you get in that line because you just tried so hard for 27 fucking years, for Christ's sake. And weeks before the final outcome of the thing, the police were still trying to put out disinformation and forget, you know. But I'm afraid this thing already exists. It's called misconduct in public office. And it's either a 20 or a 30 year sentence. If, if public officials, police, council, uh, revenue, um, you know, lie. Deliberately withhold stuff. Um, it's, yes, it's called misconduct in a public office, and that does feature heavily in my case. Um, so, get a greater transparency. Look, we have, um, right, if you're talking about the police committing a crime, committing misconduct, right, there's the professional standards department, which is like internal investigation. There's the Independent Police Cl Complaints Commission, which is like external investigation of the police. Right? If you're talking about the Chief Constable of Senior Ranks, there's now the Police Crime Commissioner, who's supposed to investigate them. Right? The CPS, Crime Prosecution Service, public servants who, by the way, are not allowed to speak to me, are the ones that are actually supposed to investigate the police, but it must have been a bit much for the poor lambs, because since then they've investigate, in, investigated, instigated PSD, IPCC, PCC, and then of course there's HMIC, Her Majesty's Inspector of Constabulary, fuck knows what they do, because I've got a load of letters from them, they're in the full knowledge of 25 years worth of theft from the public purse, and they've done fuck all. And then we get this shit. Right, I mean, if this law works, guys, again, that's another feather in the cap of the Hillsborough crew. <laughs> but, you know, it's called misconduct in a public office, and that applies to directly greater transparency and make authorities put honesty and openness above protecting reputation. Fucking reputation. Fucking reputation of the police got anymore. We're all on fucking gay pride marches. If you're the latest, they're painting their fucking fingernails to highlight slavery or something. <laughs> I 
They're not all fucking there, are they? Um, he said, a, this is the bishop. He said, a false media narrative added to the pain of the families. Citing the sun's the truth headline as an example. Yeah, but the sun would fucking blow their own trumpet, wouldn't it? The bravery and tenacity of the Hillsborough families has been exceptional. Yes, but why? Why did they have to go through 27 years of the fucking shit? Because the police are all lying fucking scumbag morons, that's why. I'm going to invent a new law. It already fucking exists! Implementing these reforms will mean the Grenfell families and others will never have to go through what we did. Yeah, I mean, I'm afraid to some extent, they already have really, haven't they? Because, let's face it, that council officer was fucking, that chief council officer of, of uh, um, oh, I forget the name of the fucking council now. He was basically forced out his job by fucking social media, wasn't he? Because he wasn't going to go anywhere. I'm keeping my job, he says. I'm keeping my job. And then he fucking resigned. Well, what? You should be in fucking prison, mate. It's just, let's go to this fucking um, um, sex assault thing. You know, Fallon, Michael Fallon. He's not on the cabinet anymore. He's still a fucking MP, though, isn't he? He's still free to touch up fucking women who don't want to be touched up now as an MP, isn't he? So he's, this is the fucking problem. This is all started with fucking Blair. This all started with fucking... Because not only would they not resign... When I was growing up, Tory MPs especially, because it was a Tory government from 1979 or something onwards, they would fall on their fucking sword. They would go. Blair come in, they wouldn't even fucking say Sorry. Let alone fucking resign. And even as a kid, I hated these fucking Tory MPs just resigning and getting away with it. Well, that's what they all fucking do now, if that's what it comes down to. And they won't even fucking say sorry. And they'll just resign, and they'll go off and get another fucking spotty job somewhere else. Another fucking 150 grand a year in the fucking pocket. To fuck everything up. And murder people. That's what fucking Grenfell was. Deliberate fucking cost-cutting. That council knew the possibilities of a fucking fire. I mean, obviously they've started resigning again now. Apparently. Oh good, but Michael Fallon's still an MP. Do you know what I mean? I put on Twitter, too pervy to be... Uh, Defence Secretary, Defence Minister, just pervy enough to be an MP. That's where we're at, guys. We've actually, they're actually talking about inventing a law that already exists. I mean, Blair's government invented 3,000 laws a year or something at one point. But let's face it, they were actually all original. The Tories are now inventing a law which already exists. Keep on voting, guys. I just... I don't. <laughs> I think we're all fucked. Completely. 